My name is Sister Karen Buffalar. Um, could you tell us about the beginning of, of South South Graphics? I call it everything started. Well, essentially, we were a part of the Chicano art movement uh, that grew out of, uh, I suppose you could say, the 60s. And those principles, and one of the principles that was involved was that people needed a place to work, and they needed to be able to express who they were, and to mirror to the community their history, their heritage. and. We did not have at that time access to public media, so it was a way of expressing your culture and who the artists were through their visual images. And they needed a place to work to do this. And that was the initial idea, to, was to say what you had to say in your way, not in the way to conform to a model that was created by someone else and that was institutionalized to the point to say who had talent, who didn't, who could paint, and who couldn't paint. It was like bringing art into life and making art part of life, which I think is really the critical element that we have as an example from the Chicano art movement, that art isn't just something that somebody teaches out of a book or that only a few people practice. Art is a part of life. It's a part of who people are and how they live their lives and how they feel about their families and, the, and their food they're eating, their houses, their personal objects uh, that they use, that they're identified, their history, their clothing, who they are, their facial expressions. Art is part of life, and so we have the right to express ourselves and emphasize those things or show that part of life that we want to show rather than what someone else thinks of as important. We also started the Day of the Dead around 1973 or 72 or 3. We just simply walked to a cemetery and had a small service there. And then the following year, one of the largest years that we had was in 1974, and a lot of different artists were involved. I would say probably about a hundred different artists. Plus uh, families, we had workshops three months in advance. So it was a very large celebration that started at Evergreen Cemetery and then we, we, we would parade down the street to self-help and then we had a variety of activities for children and youth and the whole family. And artists were really the ones who were the major contributed to the, the, that kind of project. So that's the early years. 